Welcome to CSC Guru. In this session, we will discuss an example to implement topological shorting. Topological shorting is nothing but linear ordering of vertices. And this topological shorting can be implemented with the help of two methods. One is DFS method and another one is source removal method. So, in this session, we will discuss an example to implement a source removal method. Already, we have discussed one example to implement source removal method and we know the steps. Okay. Anyway, the design steps is in the given graph, identify the vertex with no incoming edge. That is the vertex with in degree 0 we have to identify and delete from the graph. Along with its outgoing edges, we need to delete. Okay. And if there are several vertices, we need to break the tie arbitrarily. The order in which vertices are visited and deleted one by one results in topological short. Very simple logic. For example, consider this graph. For this given graph, we need to find the topological shorting. So, here in topological shorting, first we need to ensure whether the given graph forms a cycle or not. Suppose if the graph forms a cycle in the sense, we cannot able to implement topological shorting. That is the main restriction here. Okay. So, first we need to ensure that whether the given graph forms a cycle or not. Check it out. See here it does not form any cycle. Here it does not form any cycle. See here opposite direction it is there. Right. It does not form any cycle. Likewise you have to check in the given graph whether in any way it forms a cycle or not. See this graph does not form any cycle. So we can able to find topological shorting. Then first step is identify the vertex with in degree 0. First consider vertex A. Here in degree 1 is there. For B in degree 2 is there. For C in degree 2, D no in degree. So, in degree 0 for D and F in degree 3 and for G in degree 2 and for E also in degree 2. So, the only vertex with in degree 0 is vertex D. So, first step node with in degree 0 is D, remove D from the graph. So, if you are removing D from the graph, along with its edges you have to remove. Okay. So, if you are removing this vertex D in the sense, its edges also completely you have to remove. Okay. Then the resultant graph will be vertices A will be there, B will be there and then C, F, G and E will be there. Right. Along with its edges. Only vertex D and its edges you have to remove from the graph. So, this will be the resultant graph you will get it. Okay. Next up. In this resultant graph, Again, you need to find the next vertex with in degree 0. So, here if you are considering in the sense, vertex A, no in degree. So, in degree is 0. Vertex B, in degree is 1. C, in degree is 1. F, in degree is 2. G, in degree is 1. E, also in degree is there. So, the next node with in degree 0 is vertex A. Remove A from the graph. So, if you are removing A from the graph along with its edges in the sense, the resultant graph will be vertex B will be there and then C will be there, F will be there, G and E will be there. A you have to remove along with its edges. Two edges is there with A. So, you have to remove along with its edges. So, if you are removing in the sense, you will get this resultant graph. Okay. Next step. Again, you find the next node with in degree 0. So, the next node with in degree 0 in this resultant graph is, see here, node B also in degree 0 and C also in degree 0. So, if more than one vertex is having in degree 0 in the sense, we need to break the tie arbitrarily. That is, in alphabetical order, which vertex comes first, that vertex will be removed first. So, remove B first. So, if you are removing B, the resultant graph will be C, F, G and E will be there along with the edges. Okay. So, this B if you are considering these two edges you have to remove from the graph. So, if you are removing this is the resultant graph you will get it. Okay. Next step the same procedure only every step we need to find one node with in degree 0 and you have to remove it from the graph. Okay. So, next node with in degree 0 is C in degree 0 even g also in degree 0 is there so break the tie and remove c okay so here c and g is having in degree 0 you need to break the tie and visit and remove vertex c from the graph 
So if you are removing C along with its edges in the sense the resultant graph will be F, G and E will be there. Okay. And the next vertex with in degree 0 in the sense F is having in degree 1, E is having in degree. The only vertex with in degree 0 is G. Okay. Next step. Node with in degree 0 is G. So remove G from the graph. So if you are removing G along with its edges in the sense, the what is this? That is the nodes F and E will be F and E only remains without any edges. So this will be the resultant graph. Next step. Identify the next node with in degree 0. E and F both is having in degree 0. Break the tie and remove E. And F only will be there. Next step. Identify the next vertex with the in degree 0. That is F if you are removing F from the graph. Now the graph is empty. Okay. Now we have visited all the vertices in the given graph. Okay. And what is topological shorting? The order in which we have visited and removed the particular vertex from the graph. That order is called topological sequence. So here if you are considering the topological sequence as per source removal method if you are considering in the sense. Topological sequence is otherwise called topological shorting. Okay. So, first we have removed D from the graph. Next is A and next is B and then C and then G and then F and then E. So, here the topological shorting is nothing but the order is D, A, B, C, G, F and E. This is nothing but the topological shorting for this given graph. Okay. So, before implementing topological shorting for any graph, first step is identify whether the graph forms a cycle or not. If it forms a cycle, we need to conclude that the given graph forms a cycle. We cannot able to find topological shorting. Okay. That will be the result. Suppose if the graph does not form any cycle in the sense, we can implement topological shorting as per DFS method also and source removal method also. So, this is the procedure to implement topological shorting using source removal method. This is the second example we have discussed in both DFS method as well as source removal method. Okay. Thank you for watching this video.